In the Mekong Delta of Vietnam, many aquaculture farmers are staking their future livelihoods on two very common but highly remarkable species. The mud crab and the mud skipper. With the world's climate now rapidly changing, scientists anticipate that the Mekong Delta will experience more disrupted weather patterns and greater storm activity than ever before, including an increased vulnerability to sea level rise, droughts, and flooding. The population in the Mekong Delta is about 18 million and is playing a very important role in uh, supplying the production uh, of uh, rice and uh, in general food for the, uh, not only for the Mekong Delta itself, but also for the country. So if climate change occurring, especially sea level rise, then it will affect very significantly the Mekong Delta. Recognizing that the Delta environment is rapidly changing, Many aquaculture farmers are hedging their bets by switching from difficult to raise shrimp to mud crabs and mud skippers. Both species are easily collected from the mangroves and ideally adapted to a changing climate. Mr. Tung has lived in the Delta most of his life, but only recently got into the mud crab business. Uh, I buy the baby crabs from the market and also catch small crabs from the sea. A big crab only requires two months to harvest. Because of the size, the small babies take about seven months to mature. I have less capital, so that's why my profits are not that high. But as compared to raising shrimp, I can get 70% more profit from crabs, and that includes the labor costs. A muskeeper are one of the best business for the farmers to uh, culture uh, instead of only shrimp. They can tolerate a wide range of salinity. So when the climate change is uh, occurring, uh, there are some change in salinity, some change in uh, uh, environmental conditions, they, they can still be uh, adapting. Mr. Than used to raise shrimps in this pond, but recently he switched to mudskippers. The mudskipper is a strong fish, resistant to disease, as well as salinity and temperature change. It can also surface to breathe air if oxygen levels in the water are low. In this pond, I release six kilograms of mudskipper babies, and after five months, I harvest more than two tons of fish. Profit from mudskippers is about 6%. If I raise shrimp, I only get about 30 to 35%. On top of being easy to raise and bringing a good price at market, mudskippers have a strong local following. Everywhere you go in the Delta, they are on the menu. Sautéed, boiled, or baked. A perfect species for a globally warming world. But in order for mudskippers to truly become the climate change fish of choice, perhaps even replacing shrimp as a major export, a world market must be developed for this strange little fish with bulging eyes, sharp teeth, and its ability to walk on water. The ordinary mud crab, on the other hand, is already a valuable export product and highly regarded in many other countries, as well as Vietnam.